Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of the Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. Put my sunglasses on, it's a little sunny. Wearing an appropriate hat and t-shirt today because I am heading to Tropicana Field in St. Pete to go to a baseball game. Rays against the Red Sox. I saw them in Chicago, White Sox series, as well as one game at Wrigley Field against the Cubs. It was cold. Today it's like high of late 80s, early, maybe late 80s, early 90s. And today's gonna be fun because my dad will be tagging along. I have asked him if he would like to go to a game. For him, it's about a 40 minute commute south of here to meet me here and then two hours for us. It's a little bit of an undertaking, but I have not been to a baseball game with my father in about 10 years. So I'm excited, I'm inviting you to join me. Also, roads are closed here on Market Street, even on a Saturday, which is unusual, because on a Sunday, as a recording of this is a Saturday, but on Sundays, they close off Market Street to do a little farmer's market. But today, they must be doing something as well. Join me, shall you? Now, I haven't seen the fountain water running in quite some time. The reason I'm walking over here is just to show the distance that it is to St. Petersburg, 104 miles this state. With traffic, it could be over two, two and a half hours, but we'll just play it by ear. And fueling up, regular gas, $4.06 a gallon. Got the self-pumping mechanism with a little knob there. And I'm gonna go inside, get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage from Wawa. After about a two and a half hour commute, rerouted me from a normal direction over the, the regular St. Pete Bridge from Tampa. A two and a half hour commute. Hey, we were discussing on the way over, when was the last time we went to a ball game together? It's probably been uh, 10, 12 years ago, I guess. It was here at the Tropicana Came to Field. This stadium, we sure did. It was Rays and Yankees. Yeah. We sat on the third base line. I believe so, yeah. A little higher up. Yeah, I remember Hulk Hogan was here at the all the pregame. Oh, that's right. The pregame hoopla. I wonder if Hogan will be here today. I don't know, but we will. We'll be here. Yes, we will. That's right, brother. Yes, yes. Well, that's right, father. <laughs> and you're going to walk away with a bobblehead tonight. That's what I'm told. Yeah, you're going to get a bobblehead. Pretty, pretty cool. I was talking to the gentleman over here who's worked in traffic. He said there was about 12,000 people here last night. They're expecting 20 today. So we're two of them. We are to a little drop in a puddle. A drop in a puddle? A drop or a trop? Yes, both. Because Tropicana Field, they call it the trop for short. Boat. You're wearing an appropriate hat. I am, thanks to, uh, what's his name? Adam the Woo. That's right, I had an extra one. I said, <laughs> you can't go to a baseball game without a ball cap. But I have a ball cap. Because you know, the sun in here is brutal. Yes. <laughs> now today we're on the first base side, behind the raised dugout. Who's on first? Who's on second? Who was the comedy act that did that? So who's that was, on uh, hold on a second. Laurel and Hardy? No, it wasn't Laurel and Stan Hardy. Stan and Musial? <laughs> It'll come to me in a minute. We're about five rows back from the Rays dugout. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to, to shout out stuff and the players will be able to hear you. You got, you working on anything you're gonna shout out? Field goal, field goal. <laughs> that probably wouldn't go over well. <laughs> nice Neil, I haven't thought of anything. <laughs> Yeah, you have about an hour and a half. Usually in these pods, things will be stored. Want to take a guess what's being stored in here? I'm gonna guess, just from the picture on the pod, Yes. baseball stuff. Like oversized gloves like that? Perhaps that and ours. Because this glove, that's a big glove. It is. You can catch a lot of foul balls. <laughs> Or home run balls with that, even yes. though we're not sitting in home run territory. But yes, foul ball territory. Foul ball. But now they have nets. Probably since the last time you went to a game, there's netting all down the first and third base line. This should change the name of the team to the Nets. And while waiting here, looking at the starting lineup, it looks like Fire Eisen is going to be starting pitcher. That's pretty good. And then scrolling down to the Rays lineup, got Brandon up first, Wander. Randy, G-Man Choi, clean up at fourth. Josh Lowe, Taylor Walls, Kiermaier's in, Phillips is in, and then Zunino, the catcher. It's official. Moving forward now, 
Yeah, there's a little crowd. It's starting to, to formulate a little bit now. About to go through the checkpoint here. The real question is, what are you going to do with your bobblehead? Abbott and Costello. Oh, you looked it up in line. Abbott. Who's on first? Abbott and Costello. Yes, yes. What are you going to do with your bobblehead when you get your bobblehead? I'm going to sit there after I receive it and I'm just okay. going to shake it the You're whole shake game. It. All right. So instead of bringing a cowbell, so they, they love having cowbells here, you'll be the bobblehead guy. I'll be the bobblehead silent shaker guy. I should get a t-shirt. You can make your own shirt <laughs> with that. I'm gonna, next game, you bring a different bobblehead every time. You should get your own bobblehead okay. and then just shake it around at the game. It will be Im Im impressive. Or you could be a, hu a human bobblehead. <laughs> Ready to go in? Ready to go. Let's do it. And decided to go ahead and pop into the Rays team store where I heard they have some new merchandise in the form of headwear, some big league chew hats where there is an assortment of colors and designs with the big league chew logo and some of the big league chew flavors. I'm not sure if I'm going to get one of these, but if I were to get one, I'd probably go with the original big league chew emblem on the side of the, you know, the blue logo, the blue TV, and then the white cap. I might get that $50, maybe, because I think once these are gone, they're gone. And my dad went ahead and found our seats. So I walked over here, you're gonna get us a couple refillable beverage mugs. These are $12.50 each. Got the logo on it there, and also have, this is the same the same cup, but I got one of each. So I figure paying six, seven dollars per soda or just a refillable, free refills the entire game for 12 bucks. So I think it was like twice, twice 12 bucks. So it was like $24 for both of these, but this will last the whole game. I've been seeing this guy at a lot of the trop games lately. Dirt Nap TV is what he calls himself. Oh, and DJ Kitty has made his way sitting on top of the Rays dugout right there. DJ Kitty. Always good to see DJ Kitty in the house. Also showing off the Randy bobblehead. Also here Max out of the outfield. And there's the big league shoe hat. Short to Troy. Out of here. Okay, step over to the first base food hall. I wanted to get my dad and myself some hot dogs. I asked him what he wanted to eat. And he said, you know what I want? A hot dog. So I'm gonna get us some hot dogs. He wants his with mustard, and I like mustard. Put your hot dog up. Third base and first base coaches never stand where they're supposed to. So first base coach, look how far he is away from the allotted area. The coach's box. The coach's box is never utilized. There's never anyone in the coach's box. They should change the name. They should change the name. From coach's box. To what? To that place over there. Change it to that place over there? So people would, you know, years from now people would say, What's that place over there? He also he also walked him. Yeah, what is that place? What is that place over there? Right there. What is that place over there? It used to be where the coach is. The coach now stands on first. Is he running to second? I've also noticed it with the on deck circle. They're not in the on deck circle. They're like they're outside the on. It should be called the outside the circle. You know what they could do? They could put seats in that place over there. We'd have a better view of the field because the coaches are not using it. 
See, he's not in that place. Yeah, everybody stands G man. G man. It's an easy chant. It just flows with the term either Let's Go Rays or G Man Choi. In this case, G Man Choi. G Man Choi. Oh, looks like the wave's coming around. It's a wave going through here. That's a rarity here at the prop. And it looks like Dirt Nap was the one that started it. Dirt Nap's running up to the top like a superhero. He's got his cape on. He started the wave. Dirt nap. Okay, I'm just watching it go around. You can see it out there in left field. They always try to film the wave because it never, well, not never, but rarely happens at the trot because there's never this kind of crowd. But because it's bobblehead giveaway night, a wave is happening. I think the wave is about to go. I think that's pretty much it, though. introduced me to a fellow and he gave me the ball. I don't remember the fa the fellow's name. Down on the first base side before the game, you I told him that this is your first game and he tossed you up a ball. He did. He tossed it over to me and I actually caught it. You did catch it. I was it. afeared that I was going to drop it. Yeah, so a cow ball goes this direction. I want you to grab it so it doesn't hit me in the face. I'll do my best. Raymond's oh, always Raymond's tossing up a couple balls too. This is it. This is it, Randy. 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 Okay, the Red Sox have scored. Phillips almost caught it out in right, but it was just out of reach. A triple. Red Sox got an RBI. Gonna tag up. Go home. That's two for the Red Sox. Okay, it's now bottom of the tenth, zero to two. Razor down because of the tenth inning rule. Randy has been allotted second. It looks like there's a ball, and Randy's moving to third very slowly, a lot slower than he normally goes. It's not even gonna slide, just gonna walk right over there. Balls needs a hit here. One and two. Randy trying to distract there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Woo -hoo! That's it, that's how it's done! Randy scores! Three and one, Kiermaier could walk him or could save it right here. Unbelievable. That 
That was a magic moment right there. And that's going to do it for today from Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. The roof of the Trop is illuminated for the win, the Rays win. The Rays win. Unbelievable ending. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.